Hello, and welcome to episode 10 of Sir Astero's Star Wars Legion painting series. In this episode, we're going to paint Leia Organa from Fantasy Flight Games' Star Wars Legion. Leia enjoys quite a dynamic pose as she leads her Rebel Command team into battle, and is reasonably straightforward to paint. Let's take a look at the painting stages. I've chosen to prime the figure in black, followed with some optional grey and white zenithal highlights applied from above, although a plain prime in grey or white would also be okay. We'll then apply the base colours, and I've also chosen to paint the eyes at this stage. Next we'll shade the miniature, helping to define the details and create some depth in the recesses. I'll be spending most of the highlighting stage working on the skin tone and some subtle makeup effects, before highlighting the rest of the figure and providing a scenic base. Let's begin with the base colours. I'm going to begin by painting the skin using a roughly equal mix of Pugman's Glow and Cadian Flesh Tone. I'm applying this in two reasonably thin layers. For the shirt, I'm using German camo orange ochre, which I'm going to desaturate slightly with a pale grey. I've chosen blue-grey pale to do so, simply because it's a colour I'll be using for the trousers in a moment. This is entirely optional, but here I've chosen to mix in a little black to darken some of the obvious areas of shadow under each arm. This can be loosely blended in with the lighter tone. For the outer vest, I'm using Death Guard Green. Once again, as an optional touch, I'm darkening this with a little black to block in the main areas of shadow, increasing the sense of volume. This can be done quite roughly, as we'll be adding some further shade and highlights here later on. I'm now using Castellan Green for the tactical belt. For the combat trousers, I'm using blue-grey pale as the main tone, and I've also chosen to sketch in the highlights at this stage using pale grey-blue, and I'll be adding some black for the shadows. Here you can see me creating a gradient out of the colours to work with. I'm now using a combination of wet blending and layering to block in the light and shadow. For a quick and simple approach, painting the whole area with the blue-grey pale would also be fine. I'm now returning to my orange ochre to paint the stripes on the sides. Next I'm going to paint the boots, gun and the holster using some black mixed with a little dark sea blue, although plain black would also be okay. Thank you. 
Finally, I'm using Rhinox hide for the hair. I'm applying this quite thinly in a couple of layers to allow the raised strands of the texture to show through. Before moving on to the shades and highlights, I'm going to paint in the eyes as it will be a lot easier to perform corrections now rather than later. So I'm now painting in the whites of the eyes using ivory. If they turn out too large, we can trim them back with the base skin tone. We can then dot in the pupils with the off black tone we used earlier. I'm now using this to carefully paint around the eyes to capture layers distinctive dark eyeliner. I don't mind if this is initially too large as we can trim it back with the skin tone in a moment. I'm now shrinking this back down with the skin tone. Finally, I'm also using the ivory to lightly paint in some teeth. With that done, we're now ready to add some shade. I'm going to begin by shading the skin with Reichland Flesh Shade. I'm applying this mostly to the neck area and the hands but avoiding the face so as not to ruin the eyes we worked on earlier. For the shirt and vest, I'm creating a single generic shade using a roughly equal mix of Nuln Oil, Agrax Earthshade and Lamian Medium. And for the pale trousers, I'm using an equal mix of Nuln Oil and Drakenhof Nightshade with around 5 parts of medium because I don't want to over darken the pale tone. I'm applying a second layer of this to further darken the more shadowed areas. Finally, I'm using an equal mix of Agrax Earthshade and Drakenhof Nightshade for the hair. We're now ready to add the highlights. I'm now going to highlight the skin and I'm starting with some Cadian flesh tone. I'm using this to brighten all of the main and upturned areas of skin, leaving places like the gaps in between the fingers and the neck area in shadow.
I'm going to brighten this further with the addition of some Kislev flesh. You can see I'm now focusing more on the upturned surface of the arms. I'm still brightening most of the face with this. I'm now using pure Kislev flesh. You can see I'm now being more selective with the highlights on the face. Here I'm pushing the pigments up towards the cheekbones. At this point I'm going to begin integrating some pink horror to create a subtle blusher effect for the cheeks. and I'm now adding white to the Kislev flesh to push the highlights further, and I'm focusing on the most raised and upturned areas. I'm once again incorporating the pink to highlight the cheekbones. For the lips, I'm going to mix a roughly equal amount of Screamer Pink into some Bugman's Glow. I'm applying this quite thinly. and I'm now making some corrections with the skin tone. We can then mix in some white to produce a highlight tone. And here I'm adding my last few skin highlights. Moving on to the rest of the figure, I'm now returning to the orange ochre and blue-grey pale base tone to highlight the shirt as well as the stripes on the trousers. The 
This can be lightened with a little white. For the vest, I'm going to begin by mixing some Nurgling Green into the original Death Guard Green. and I'm now using pure Nurgling Green. This can also be lightened with a little white. and I'm now providing a few edge highlights to the belt and pouches by adding a little white to the original Castellan green. For all of the areas of black, I'll be adding some white to the original dark sea blue and black base tone building up to some quite extreme highlights for the shiny boots, just as we did for General Veers. It's a small detail, but I'm going to use some XV88 mixed with a hint of black for the soles of the boots. I'm now moving on to the hair and I'm starting by mixing some scrag brown into the original Rhinox hide. I'm now using pure scrag brown. This can be lightened further with the addition of some of the orange okra.
If you accidentally stray into one of the recesses, we can bring back the definition with some Rhinox hide mixed with a little black. Finally, I'm returning to the combat trousers where I'm using the original base colours to add a few small refinements. After basing the figure as described in the earlier episodes, I'm finishing Leia off with a few final highlights for the face. And this completes Leia Organa. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series then do please let me know with a like and by subscribing to the channel. Don't forget that further details of all of the paints, brushes and products used can be found in the video description. Join me again soon as we continue painting miniatures from Star Wars Legion. Happy painting!